Welcome everybody, the UK crypto tax deadline is coming up and we want you to be prepared as good as possible. We have a dedicated blog post about the UK taxes which will be linked down below in the video description and also we have an overview video here on YouTube explaining how the taxes in the UK work up here or as well down in the video description. Today we will go over how you can import your data or consolidate all your data in coin tracking, how to validate your account and then finally generate your tax reports. That's very easy and let's hop into the software. All right, we are in cointracking.info and signing up in coin tracking is very easy and also anonymous. So you basically can choose a username you wish, let's say test user 123456787 and then set a simple password and you can sign up for free. Just click sign up now and your account is done. Then you simply can choose your currency, the language, the time zone. And once you're done, you are pretty much in your account already and can start importing your transactions. Have in mind or keep in mind that using coin tracking for the very first 200 transaction is completely free. So you can go ahead and test the transaction, test the software, create your first tax report, and then later on see if you want to uh, take a coin tracking subscription, simply go to upgrade account and then you see the different uh, subscription models we have in our software. And then you see where they start. If you go with the uh, one year version, it's $12.99 per month and so on and so on. And then you see they are capped at transaction limits. So with the free one, you have 200 uh, transactions in your account. With the pro version, uh, 3,500 transactions, then 20, 50, 100 and unlimited. Now we are in our coin tracking live stream account. We have prepared some data for you so we can show you how everything works in the software. And we also show you how to import some data. Importing data on coin tracking is very easy as we support many, many different exchanges, blockchains and wallets. Let's start with an API. API is the automatic um, data pool from the exchange, for example, or from the blockchain. You simply paste in your API key, the API secret, and then it will automatically pull all the data or the transaction data from the exchange into coin tracking. We will for we will start with Kraken. So we simply go to Kraken and then on top you will see the API import information. So it's detailed stated how to get your API from Kraken. Also, you see a link here so you don't have to actually search on the exchange to get to the correct website. We will link it for you here. And then on the right side, you see what is covered with the API or with the CSV. And then for your trading behavior, you will choose either one. We always recommend choosing the API because it will automatically update your account and you will have it on the newest, most recent yeah, portfolio. Scrolling a little bit down, you will see your API key and the private key option and also a lot of different options to turn on, turn off for your API if you don't want that to be imported. Below you will see the start date, which is important if you maybe uploaded a CSV before and then you want to start the API from a given date, then you just uh, start the API, let's say from the 13th December 23, because all that before was imported by CSV. That's a little trick uh, you can use later on if you are in your account a little longer already and have data in it. But again, we recommend just set it up from scratch to have all the correct data in it. We will start importing our API key from Kraken. We have it prepared already. I paste it in our API information in the API private key in here or the secret key. And then we save this Kraken job. That's pretty much all you have to do. And you will see that in a couple of minutes or seconds, the API will load all the transactions from Kraken into our software and we can see the balance in our account already. If we scroll down, we see the job was saved. So there was no error on the API side or on the API connection side. And now we can see here in this little uh, box, the API is loading currently, it's in process. And then once the API loaded its data, then imports zero turns to import one. I just refresh the site and we can see, okay, the import is done. We see the one is here. It's still loading some data. So it's better to wait a little bit until in process is gone. Simply maybe switch in between those two tabs. It's still in process. Ah. Now it's done, check now, okay. So we have all our data from Kraken in here. If we go to reporting and then balance by exchange, we can scroll down and search for Kraken and we will see our Kraken balance. 
all coins look correct to me, so there's no error on this side. If you want to check or cross check the API data with the data and coin tracking, then you simply go to enter coins API and then API live data check. If you click on that, then you will load all the API data and then you will see the coins which you should have on your exchange and then which you have in coin tracking. And with this feature, you don't have to switch in between the exchange and coin tracking back and forth. You have it all in coin tracking. Now, as you see, the importing of the API data is very easy. And I will show you that the CSVs are as well very easy. All you have to do is scroll up our page, go to enter coins and then go to CSV. <laughs> Here you will see all the exchanges we currently support and then don't worry we keep on updating this list so there are more and more exchanges coming also more and more blockchain and wallets uh, they're all coming so for our sake we will go to uphold and upload an uphold csv for that we simply go to the site again and then you will have again an instruction how to get the csv step by step once you have your csv then simply go to choose file and then you can upload your file we choose uphold CSV, open the CSV, continue to import, and then start the import. And we have uploaded our uphold CSV. The upload was correctly done, and then you again will see the balance in your exchange. Once you have uploaded all your API data, CSV data, wallet data, all your transactions in your account, and you think you're done, then you always should recalculate your trades down below here. You just have to click that button and then it will recalculate all the transactions, all the trades. So you have the most recent update on your dashboard, but also in the tax report. If you don't click that button, then the software will not do the calculation and the numbers will not be correct. So please check that. Once done, you can go to your dashboard and then you will see all yeah, your holdings. On the left side, we see the total value of all coins then we see the value of the currencies which will be negative in most cases unless you imported all the fiat transactions. So if you are at the API, click the mark or the option for import fiat transactions, and then you will see the total account value. If you scroll down a little bit, then you will see some charts about your holdings, the balance by day, and all your current balances across all your exchanges and wallets in just one overview. That's pretty good. And then in the reporting file or option, you have a lot of different more options to check on your balances, check on your trades, check on your gains. But the most important ones are actually the checks. So here you can check your account if there are any errors. So we'll go over the validation now. So the missing transaction list is, in my opinion, the most important one where you can check if there are any errors in your account. The missing transaction list is the place where you will find all the transactions missing in your account, meaning the counterpart of the transaction is missing. So our software sees there's a deposit in one of your exchanges, but the matching withdrawal is not there. So it tells you you have to look into this transaction one more time and then find the matching withdrawal. Maybe you're missing some data in your account, so please import that. So then the transaction will be gone. But sometimes the deposit is in there, which shouldn't be a deposit. It, was maybe a mining reward or a staking reward and then you have to manually change that. I will show you a few error examples in our account we prepared so you know exactly how to solve yours. To see your missing transaction simply scroll down and then you can filter by date so you see the oldest one first or the newest one first. I like it by the oldest one first and then we can see our prepared transactions. For example, the first withdrawal of the 21 USDT was not actually a withdrawal to one of our accounts from mine, but it was actually a spending. So all you have to do is click on this little square with the arrow on the right side. You will directly jump to the transaction and then you can edit the transaction in here. It's already marked for you. So you know, I don't have to look for it anymore. And then you click edit and then you can change the transaction type. In the transaction types, we have a lot of different transaction types for you prepared. So you can actually yeah, mark the transaction correctly, what you have done. We have everything from liquidity mining, from loans, margin, advanced trading, or the very basics, incoming and outgoing transactions. In our case, it was uh, a spending. So we simply click it at spend or mark it as a spend, and then we update the trade. And that's it. If you go back to the missing transaction list, then this uh, missing transaction should be gone. And voila, the Bitpanda 21 USDT withdrawal is gone already. And that's pretty much how you solve yeah, outgoing, ingoing transactions 
which have the wrong transaction type. Of course, we recalculate our trades so the software can do its magic and then we can proceed with the other missing transactions. Sometimes it happens that the exchange books a different timestamp than the receiving exchange and then you will have a difference and the software cannot tell that the two transactions belong together because they are so far apart with the timestamp. One example is here we withdrew to Ethereum from Binance and then it deposited into uh, blockchain.com but they are yeah three days apart so there's maybe an error in the CSV or API with the timestamps or maybe it got stuck because the gas fees uh, spiked for a few days and the transaction didn't went through so all you have to do is go to the transaction and adjust the timestamp the blockchain.com transaction is here and we will just take the Binance timestamp paste it into the date in blockchain.com make it one second later and voila it's right here and if we refresh the site then this transaction or those two transactions are gone and that's how it works another um, yeah very common error is that the fee is missing so you made a withdrawal and you got the deposit and the timestamp is matching but the fee is missing and then you have the missing transaction and it's not correct in your account the money flow doesn't work so you go into the transaction for example this one we withdrew one ethereum and we received uh, 0.994 ethereum then you simply go into the transaction again go to the withdrawal and it was 0 0.06 um, ethereum which was the fee once done you simply go to the missing transactions click refresh and then the fee error is gone. Sometimes you will find transactions where you actually cannot find the deposit and maybe it went to a pre-sale wallet and then you have to enter those transactions manually. For example here from the trust wallet we um, deposited a little bit of funds into a pre-sale wallet so later on we get the ICO. And then we see we have the withdrawal of the 0.01 Ethereum but there is no ICO wallet you can actually import. What you can do is go to the transaction and then create a new transaction. Let's copy the date, create a new transaction on the same date, a second later for the value which we withdrew, Ethereum, make a withdrawal. course you have to deduct the fee from it of course you have to enter the amount which you deposited minus the fee. So the withdrawal amount minus the fee equals the deposit amount. Once done, then you simply type in the exchange name, for example, ICO wallet, and then you can add this transaction. Once you jump to the transaction for the missing transaction list, and then you simply can go and duplicate this transaction and change it to a deposit. By duplicating the transaction, you will make sure that you have the exact transaction date and then the rest will stay the same, but you have to change it to the new wallet type. For our case, it will be an ICO wallet, but if you have maybe a different wallet, you use the Xen wallet or some other kind of wallet we don't support yet, then you can type it in here. We will make the deposit a second later, so it makes sense in the transaction flow. Then we paste in the amount, which is the withdrawal amount minus the fee amount, that's uh, the deposit amount, and then Ethereum, All right? We change the exchange name to ICO wallet and then delete the comment and voila, we have the matching deposit. And then if you go back to the transaction list, you will see that this arrow will be gone. And that's pretty much how you change the transaction types, how you fix the missing transactions, the missing withdrawals, missing deposits, wrong transaction types, 
or you can do it here in one place. Sometimes you will have duplicates in your account and you will see many transactions are in the same. Then go to reporting and check the duplicate transactions. And voila, we see we have two duplicates in our account. All you have to do is simply delete all duplicates and then the software will delete all the duplicates for you and you will have not them in your account anymore. Once you have imported all your data in your account and the dashboard is looking correct, you don't have any duplicates, you don't have any missing transactions, you change the transaction types to the correct ones, then you are ready to jump to the tax report side and simply click tax report and then you will see all the settings you can choose from to generate the tax report. On the left side, you can choose the country. We have a lot of different countries you can choose from. For our case, it would be Germany as I'm sitting in Germany. And then with the first in first out method, choose the tax year. It will be 23 for me. With the filter option, you can choose how to or which transaction types you want to include or exclude. Once done, you can consider all the previous trades and report, use the depot separation and group all purchases by day uh, if you would like to. Then simply click generate a new tax report now and you will see the tax report generated below. To see the full view of the tax report, simply click load report and then you will see all the statements which you made, uh, yeah, all the statements about your gains and losses in 23. And if you are ready and the numbers look correct to you, then you simply can download the report and you will see everything in there. Below the download button, you will also see detailed listings of all your gains, of all your losses, of all the incomes, if you scroll down a little bit, also of the gift and donations, the fee report, the lost and stolen, and the closing rep uh, position report. So you have everything in there. If all this sounds a little bit difficult to you and you did maybe a little bit more advanced trading and you just cannot keep up with all the errors in your account or you don't just don't know how to import the data and just need help, then there's an Ask Our Expert service, which is the full service of coin tracking, which helps clients to consolidate their data and just get rid of the, all the errors and generate their tax reports. Simply go down and choose the country you are from, and then you have a lot of different packages you can choose from to make use of the full service support. It is important to mention that every single support packages come with a free initial call. So there's no strings attached. You just chat with our agent, uh, look together over your account and see how the agent can actually help you or coin tracking can help you. Below you'll find also some tax partners you can sign up to. Simply select the service you require and then down below you will see some information you have to fill out. And then please also in the information box, put in as much information as possible. So our agent can prepare for the call, for the free initial call with you. And then, yeah, see how we can help you with your account. I know this was a lot of information for one video and there's much more you can do in coin tracking. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. We'll happily answer them. And also check out all the other videos about coin tracking, how to validate your account, uh, text guides for different countries. We have a lot of good stuff on our channel, so check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.